Welcome to Pre-Technical Mathematics. This video lecture is on the laws of exponents. It is a continuation. This is Chapter 1, Section 3, B. We're not really going to be talking about exponents, but we're going to be talking about roots. This will be covered in detail in a future math course. We're only going to introduce you to the basics of roots. Okay, let's take a look at a few of the rules first. This is a radical sign. Underneath the radical is the A and B. This N refers to the root, the nth root. When you have the nth root, of two numbers underneath the radical. They can be split apart into the nth root of the first one and the nth root of the second one. When you have a radical of a fraction, this can be split apart as the nth root of the numerator and the nth root of the denominator. You'll see in your next technical math course that this will become very important. All right. The nth root of a number raised to the nth is actually the number. In other words, if this were the third root of b to the third, the thirds would cancel each other out and it would be simply b. The nth root of b is also equal to b to the 1 over n. So we can change a radical. This is the most important. We can change a radical to an exponent, a fractional exponent. But we can change back and forth from a radical to an exponent. All right, let's see some problems. When there is no number in the root area, that refers to 2, or the square root of 36. Square root means number times a number. And we should know that the square root of 36 is 6. All right, let's get into a little bit harder. Now we want the fourth root of 81. So what can we multiply times itself four times in order to get 81? The answer is 3. So we have, if we have 3 times 3 times 3, should equal 81. So the fourth root of 81 is 3. All right, here is the third root of 5 raised to the third. And remember that rule that we said if we had a third root and an exponent of equal value, it would simply equal the number under the radical. So the answer to this is 5. Here's another one. Okay, we've 
we've got a radical on top of a radical. Well, now, we'll change forms first. We know that this equals radical of 112 divided by 7. And 112 divided by 7 equals 16. So now we have the square root of 16 and we know that to be 4. So that rule that let us combine the numbers underneath the radicals was advantageous to us. Alright, now this looks complicated. Actually, we only have half the problem here. So let's put the other prob part of the problem down. I made a mistake in my PowerPoint. We want to add two radicals. And this is the third root of 5 fourths to the third. Okay, makes it a little different. We've got a fifth root and we've got a third root. But what do we know about the fifth root of a number raised to the fifth? It's equal to the number underneath the radical. So we have 3 fourths plus, and again we have the third root raised to the third. So we have 5 fourths equals 8 fourths, which equals 2. So what started out looking like a complicated problem with these different roots actually became very simple. All right, I think you're ready now. Let's try some on your own. Here should be a simple one for you. Check your answers in the course information. Here's another one. In this case, we have a third root. Remember, if you can get these numbers into an exponent of 3, you can simply bring them out of the radical. So that's a hint for you. Okay, let's go on. Here we have a number raised to an exponent fraction. Well, we can rewrite this, remember, as a root. So we'd have the third root of negative 27. Now that actually that negative number will be treated a little bit differently later on. And that's to the second. So what we have is the third root of negative 27 is negative 3 raised to the second equals 9. A little more complicated. see if we can rewrite this a little bit simpler first. We have the third root of 27 
times the third root to remember that denominator, if we're splitting up our roots, we have to split it on all the numbers, 0, 2, 7. Let's see what we can make of that. Okay, the third root of 27 is 3. And the third root Point zero zero eight is zero point two, and we have to remember to square that. And the third root of point zero two seven is zero point three. So let's finish up the problem. 3 times 0 0.04, 0, 1, 0, divided by 0.3 should give us 0 0.4. Okay, so we took a pretty complicated problem, split it up with using our roots, and then took a look at each individual part. Try this one yourself. this one. And I've got just a few more for you. Here's one. to a negative exponent. Change this into root format. And then one similar to your example problem. Split each one of them up into square roots of them individually and you should be able to solve the problem very quickly. This concludes the lecture video on section 1.3.